All right. Hey guys, how are you doing? Today I thought I'd start the video from a different place a bit. Found this cool uh, dirt track. I want to talk to you about my latest camera setup. What I now finally decided to use for my trip to Iceland and what I think is really the coolest and the most compact mode of vlogging setup I, at least I have. This is an Insta360 Go 2 and this is an Insta360 Go 2. I'll tell you in a sec why I had to buy another one. All right, let's go. All right. So yeah, guys, while we drive through this sandy road here, which the Honda really does super well, um, I'm gonna tell you, I tried a bunch of, whoa, action cams. And uh, so far, I wasn't quite happy with the with the face pointing camera because it's either the Go the Osmo Action is whoop is is too big, the Go Procession is kind of too old and not good enough for what I want to do. And uh, oh yeah. So I decided I'm going to buy a second Insta360 Go, which is this one. And I try it out today actually, it's the first time I try it out. And so far, I think it's pretty cool. No, this is the dogs. Hello, hello. So, those cameras are just so easy to use and so, so tiny. They have a wide field of view, which is really cool because I now can just put it on the mirror here and it's so close, but you can still see my whole body and not just the, the face or part of the face, you know? And that is super, super awesome. Might just stop here. Stop there. Uh -uh. Maybe I go a bit in the forest. Maybe go a bit here. Yeah. Go here. Find a good spot. Man, the Honda does so well off road like the easiest thing in the world to do that here. So cool. Like big. All right, we're just gonna stop right here. All right, guys. So here we are at this nice little spot at the forest and um, let me guys show you my motor vlog setup that I have right now so this is the Insta360 Go and I actually bought it a second time so that might be a bit crazy but it's actually not because that camera is really practical and it's really handy and super easy to use and it's super easy to get cool shots with it um, without being like a super awesome cameraman and um, you also have to remember that you have to still drive while you film you know you cannot focus too much on the camera and on the settings so this is why this camera is so easy I put it now on the mirror like here and uh, I have it on the helmet, of course. So this is basically the main setup. 
when I do vlog stuff and all this kind of like just walking and filming I figured that now for me the best thing to do is just go with the Osmo action an extra microphone this is the DJI uh, flexi mic I think is it called and yeah that is just so super easy to use and I can just you know for example if I want to show you guys something I can just put the camera down here I have a little stand just put it down here you know if you can see me and then I'll just you know for example I show you how I set up the camera it's that easy you just have to open it up you can adjust the settings just right here bam I put it here and if I want to film I'll just press and the camera is ready to go it's literally that easy of course the same goes for the helmet I just when I think that there's something interesting to see just press the button and the camera will record instantly another cool thing is the Insta360 GO has a battery the last 30 minutes filming was the longest but you get this charging case uh, this one and it's actually once the battery is empty you can actually just put it in here I will quickly charge the uh, camera back up and it does it like three or four times and that's pretty good that that is way way enough for a whole day filming with the sound I'll still go with the uh, zoom f2 it's amazing it's a little recorder I can show you actually here I clipped it right under the helmet there I actually talked about it in another video already yeah that, that works just amazing that you can just basically the battery lasts for eight hours and you can basically let that run the whole day and when you edit it you just uh, sync the sound with the camera sound oh yeah and because a lot of you guys ask me this rack here is actually self-made a guy made it for his bike some guy and then sold it on uh, eBay so yeah that's where I got it from it's now filmed with the Insta360 I'll just you can see it here you can see yourself in the mirror uh, I just put it on the helmet sack the second one just put it on here this thing here is uh, adhesive holds by itself pretty tight on there and now it should record already yeah does record I have my zoom it is already recording I have the app here I can now check if it really is recording yeah it is so yeah and that's all you have to do to set up your dual motor vlog setup which is pretty cool I mean sure the GoPro that probably does an even better picture and it does 5k now and all this kind of stuff but yeah I don't really need 5k right now and I sacrificed the super high resolution for the compactness of this system that I have now it's this camera is just you cannot feel it on the helmet this camera is super small you can actually put that adhesive thingy everywhere on the bike just put it on a tank or whatever or this is this stuff is even magnetic you can just put it here for example or wherever you want and it will hold it will hold you have to be careful but it will hold so now put that one here bam all right people let's do this all right Get out of here. So much fun. Woo. Wow. 
Ah, so much fun. Okay. Whoa. All right, guys. I hope you liked this video and I hope it helped you a bit. And feel free to give us a thumbs up and also leave a comment and if you want to see our journey to Iceland feel free to subscribe to the channel and um, I'll see you in the next video have a great day everybody